Christian nationalism is not a politically enthusiastic version of Christianity, nor is it a religiously informed patriotism. Christian nationalism is a prosperity gospel for nation states, a liberation theology for white people, in that it has more in common with the lifeless establishments, the old liberalisms, and some of the social gospels, which preferred a gospel that changed externals and did not demand personal repentance and faith. It submerges personal transformation under social transformation, thus making both impossible. You can talk about a mic drop. I mean, you <laughs> you, you did not pull punches in there. Well, I mean, if you think about uh, J. Gresham Machen, the uh, Presbyterian theologian in the 1920s, who was a leader in the fundamentalist modernist uh, controversy and wrote a little book that was really and is really important, Christianity and Liberalism, which I think the word liberalism is unfortunate. I wish he had chosen a different word because when we hear liberalism, you hear um, some people, what they hear is a a specific sort of political camp, and uh, some people, when they hear it, think of uh, what I'm committed to, to liberal democracy, free constitutional democracy. But what he meant uh, was the kind of liberalization that makes Christianity useful. And one of the things that Machen said was – it can, does Christianity address communism? Yes. But if Christianity becomes a means of fighting communism, it has become a different religion. And so what he was seeing is this idea that uh, and, and if you remember early in the 20th century, the, the so-called liberals were very missions minded. Mm -hmm. um, but often they were missions minded because they were saying uh, in order to civilize the world, you have to have Christian cultures. And the way you have Christian cultures is to have Christian missionaries. And that's what Machen was rejecting, saying, no, that that is that is reordering the priorities in a way that actually changes what the religion is. And I think that's exactly what we see uh, happening right now. You have Christianity's being it, it's um, it's useful mm -hmm. in that sense, and it's frankly easier to change externals. It it's it's easier that is much easier than repentance, and much easier than new birth, uh, because new birth requires supernatural intervention, and so it's just really easy to give. Um, a message of uh, total catastrophe. Uh, everything's falling apart and they're coming to get you. You can get people revved up with that. Um, or if you if we just do this, this, and this, we can reclaim everything. That's an easy message to give in the same way. I see a lot of what's happening with Christian nationalism as sort of a secularization of a lot of the prophecy uh, chart movements mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. of the last generation, when it was really easy to come in and say to people, uh, we are in the terminal generation. This is the, the rapture is right around the corner. I can tell you why, because of these, these signs that are happening right now. And so you are at the pinnacle of history. Uh, that's a lot easier than coming in and saying no man knows the day or the hour, but be ready. You know that that's yeah. a that's a much um, that's a much less easily used sort of statement. But the, but the second statement is the true one, <laughs> the one that it Jesus is. said. 